Hello, my hungry friends. My name is Anna. In 2001, I moved to America from my hometown of Szczecin, Poland to be with the love of my life, Mark. While living in the US, I realized that I wanted to share my passion for Polish cuisine with America and the world. So finally, in 2015, I started a Polish food blog. After my husband retired from the army, we decided to start a new adventure in my native home. We spend our time showing the world the wonders of Polish cooking in our kitchen, and sometimes we shut down our kitchen and explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Polish Kitchen. I'm so out of whack. Hello, my hungry friends. My name is Anna, and welcome to Polish Kitchen. This is a channel where we cook a bunch of Polish food and share it with the world. Today, in the first video of 2023, we're cooking kashanka, which is blood sausage. Doesn't sound as good, but it's pretty tasty. <laughs> <laughs> and because this is the first video of uh, the new year, I'm going to say my new year resolution is to be better. Better at what? Better for people. Uh -huh. Aww. And uh, there's more on that at the end of the video. So if you'd like to find out, please stay through the video. Uh, my recipe comes from PolishYourKitchen.com or from the book that was released this year, Polish Your Kitchen, My Family Table. And I'm cooking blood sausage. I'm preparing blood sausage. I'm not making blood sausage from scratch, just so it's clear. And in the book, there are, I'm showing three ways to prepare it. And today I'm going to do the ones with the onions and the fried because it's nice caramelized That's and delicious. One. That's my favorite too. But there's also a way to, to roast it in the oven or grill it. And Mark was behind the camera. My cameraman, lovely husband, Aloha. grills those in the summer as well. So let's get started. I have my five links of sausage today. I had six, but the dog came in here and stole one just not long ago. <laughs> to, to start our sausages, I'm gonna roast them with onions in my pan. So I'm gonna get the pan hot and I have about three tablespoons of butter. And you can obviously do as many as you want. Normally one per person or two maybe for a super hungry person. So I'm gonna melt some butter. I have about three tablespoons. I'm gonna add uh, some oil to it as well. And I have sliced onion, uh, nice and thick. I want to add them to how many onions? Uh, also, probably about one per link, or as much as you want. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is home cooking. You like lots of onions, put lots of onions in it. If you like, don't like onions that much, put a little bit less. But standard is like a medium onion per link. Like a medium onion per link, I would say. This is melting nicely. I'm just gonna add my onion to it. And we're gonna give this a little time to caramelize. I'm just gonna turn the heat down to about medium. We don't want the, them burning. We want them uh, sauteing nicely. <clears throat> and then the kashanka normally comes, uh, normally, it comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes. I bought the links, but you can also find them in, uh, like, what would you call it? It comes a ring. Thicker kind of and round. Uh, you can use any kind. Uh, it can also come in like a longer, thicker uh, sausage. But what we want to do is we want to remove the casing, which is natural casing. It should tear. Help yourself with a knife if you need to, like this. We're not going to be using the the casings. And I'm going to do three. My onions are starting to be nice and brown around the edges. So I'm going to add my kashanka, my sliced kashanka now. I'll turn on heat a little bit and just let this cook. An idea is to, for it to break up a little bit and kind of mix in with the onions. And as it's heating up, it's already breaking down a little bit. And as soon as all your pieces are, have broken up, 
we're going to just kind of evenly spread it out and turn down the heat just a tiny bit and let it sit for a couple minutes. And we're trying to get a nice char underneath. After a couple of minutes, give it a nice stir so it doesn't burn. We can start to see nice crispy bits underneath. This one is fatty, huh? Really fatty, yeah. My mouth's watering, I don't know why. <laughs> Reminder, this is not a health food channel. <laughs> and give this another couple of minutes to nicely brown on the bottom again. And as soon as it gets crispy, to your liking, we're going to turn this off. Now we're going to have a taste. When would you eat this? Is this breakfast food for you? Please let me know in comments below. Would you eat it with an egg? Would you eat it with potatoes? Or perhaps bread, like we're going to try it today. My mouth watering. <laughs> And this is, this is, this reminds me of trips to <laughs> the little garden home that every Polish person that lives in the city has. And you heat that up and <laughs> you can serve it on bread. And I have a delicious horseradish here for my favorite condiments <laughs> and or Polish food company, Bacic in the States. And I'm adding a little bit of horseradish. You can do that or you can do mustard. And you can enjoy it. How about that? I think that's wonderful. Mmm. That's quite delicious. I would, could have added a little bit more pepper to it, but it's not. You know how liver can be minerally, and kashanka sometimes picks up that flavor because it's made with um awful not awful blood but, uh, it is. Yeah. but this is deliciously mild and the onions are sweet in it and it's delicious would you like to try some i would love to try some but my favorite my favorite way to do it is like i get it thin and fry the crap out of mm. it so it's really crispy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then with a fried egg over it Yum. No, if I have a question, it's really teacher. Good. Yes. So, if you are in a place where you can't find this readily, where would you get blood sauce? Oh, our friends at Bacic actually carry a vast variety of of these sausages, or these, or poached sausages in general. And the variety is really vast there. So go go to Bacic.com and click on their uh, online store and kind of shop around. And uh, they also are carrying my cookbook this year. So if you're in the States and you'd like to get it fast, uh, you can buy it there. Otherwise, it ships from Poland. Yay! So that's our episode, friends. <laughs> uh -uh. <clears throat> so that's it for today. If you'd like to stay and listen about our Kashanka challenge, this is, here it is. Please subscribe and give us a like and let us uh, Leave us a comment too. Just don't tell me that you don't like my, t my tattoos because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but so about the Kashanka challenge. Uh, a few years ago, back in 2018, uh, my friend Pavel Zhukovsky, who's a uh, journalist in the United States, uh, read a tweet from a Polish NBA player, Martin Gortat, who challenged an American to eat Kashanka with an egg. And if someone did, he would give that person $500. So my friend uh, challenged Mark uh, to eat it and then he would take the money and donate it to a local charity here in Stettin Poland where he's from as well. Uh, and not charity, sorry, organization, a hospice for children. Mark ate the kashanka. Here it is. Hey, Martin Gorta. This is Mark Herding from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, USA. And this is an American eating eggs and kashanka. Mm -hmm, taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no sauce. It's just good blood sausage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last little bite, Martin. You want some? No? A little full, are you? No. There you go. 
And then he, uh, Pavel turned this Kashanka challenge into an annual uh, drive to help the hospice with whatever their needs are. Uh, and up till now, they bought five vehicles and a bunch of equipment for, for sick children. So we're joining his drive this year, and this is going to be going on all year, and the finale is going to be in December. So if you'd like to help, you can click <coughs> on the link in the video description or I'm gonna to try to put it here or here. And you can donate a dollar or two or however much you'd like. And also you can go to postyourkitchen.com and there'll be a link on there as well. Yeah! So that's it my friends. Please join us again when we cook in our kitchen. We're gonna be <laughs> trying to cook a lot more this year. And you can also watch our videos uh, when we go outside our kitchen, our kitchen's closed videos and join us when we're showing Poland uh, we recently went to uh, Krakow and we filmed the Christmas market there. I just browse around my channel. And we'll see you next time. Smacznego! Hello, my hungry friends! Oh, and this is when you say. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? No, that's, that's, that's not what we're doing. <laughs>